Welcome to Danny and Don. I'm here to talk about Arsenal very briefly. Obviously unlucky last year finishing second. Did they bottle it? Yes, they did. But they're not mucking around in the transfer market and they have signed three very good players. And at the moment, they are second favourites and likely challengers to Man City's crown this year. Now, with that being said, this isn't about if Arsenal are going to win the league. This is about looking at the signings they've made and where they will fit in and predicting Arsenal's potential starting lineup for the first game of the season. Obviously, we're not including injuries. We're just including what we've got in front of us. So Declan Rice, Ewan Timber and Kai Havertz, will they all start? Well, let's have a look. So, in goal, it's going to be Aaron Ramsdale. Turner is a great player. He's a good backup, but he's not a starting Arsenal goalie. Ramsdale has been consistent for the last two seasons. Gets a few critics for no reason for me. He's one of the best goalies in the league. At right back, I think Duran Timber is now going to be Arsenal's right back. He actually started his career as a right back and started to play at centre back. He's actually first position was right back. I think he's been signed to be that right back. I think Tommy Atsu will back him up, but Timber is a quality player and he will be the starting right back. That shifts Ben White over to centre back. Does he start? No, I think it, it will be William Saliba and Gabriel. Kipua will back up on the Gabriel side. This is where Arsenal will go. This is where Arsenal will at their best. We miss Saliba and Gabriel is a good player, but Gabriel needs Saliba. And once they're together, Arsenal are very good defensively. And I think if they can both stay fit, this will get as near to what we want to do this year. Obviously, left back, though I'm a, you know, I'm a massive fan of Kieran Tierney, I'm predicting what Arteta would do here. And for some reason, Tierney might not even be there. But for some reason, he's decided that Shevchenko is the player to play there. I'm not saying Shevchenko is not a good player, but Tierney is a better left back. But if we're predicting, if Shevchenko's fit, he will be the starting left back this year. He will be starting the first game of the season playing that inverted left back role. Arsenal are going to play them same midfield three. A few players have gone now. Jack has left. Party looks like he's leaving. So who plays defensive midfield? It's going to be, of course, the new signing. The £105 million pound signing, Declan Rice. What a signing that is. What a statement of intent by Arsenal. This is what we need. A 24-year-old who, who wants to play, who wants to win trophies. I'm not saying Party didn't. Party's a great player. But, but he's got six years on Rice. And Rice is going to be younger and hungrier. Who's he going to be his backup? Well, it's going to be Jorginho, who I think is a decent player. I think he's going to add a lot of experience and calmness. He'll back him up. When it comes to the two advanced midfielders, so the number eight and the number 10 position, we know Odegaard's going to play on the right side of these midfield three. Um, one of the best players in the league, one of the best players last year. The captain, can't really say anything that no one else has already said. He will start. He will probably have Fabio Vieira backing him up on that side. And when it comes to the other side, it's going to be Kai Havertz. I expect Arsenal to play him in that sort of number eight role where Xhaka played last year, where he wants to play. He's going to play on that left side of midfield. He can also be an option up front. I can't see him being that option where we've already got three strikers. Um, though I've never been his biggest fan, I'm going to let, give him an opportunity to see how he gets on. £65 million is a lot of money, but obviously I'll take to see something. And let's hope he uh, produces. Smith Rowe, unfortunately, though he's my favourite player, has had injury problems. Um, and the fact is he's going to get back late from for training due to the Under-21 Championship. He will, for me, now play as a, the backup number eight. So he'll play in that midfield three. Um, that was reported this, that's what Arteta wanted him to do. The Trossard signing sort of proved that Trossard's the backup left winger. So Smith Rowe will back up behind Havertz. So on the left side, I've already said about Trossard, he won't be the starter, he will be the backup. The starter, of course, will be Gabriel Martinelli, one of the great, um, one of the best youngest players in the world right now. What a talent. He's only going to get better. Had his best year last year. It's obvious. On the right wing, our best player. The best right wing in the world, one of the best players in the world right now, is Pakayo Saka. Um, I don't need to tell you how good he is. We know how good he is. And I think if he stays fit, this will be his best year. And if we are going to win the league, it will be because of him. Nelson, new signed contract, will back him up on the right side. Up front, it's going to be Gabriel Jesus. I think, he, of course, he's our best striker. People saying he's not a proper striker. Yes, he is. He'll score goals. He's an absolute phenomenal player. And he will add the goals this year, I'm sure of it. Eddie Nketiah looks like he's going to be the preferred backup choice. Um, I'm not his biggest fan, but as long as he doesn't play too many games, I'm not too worried. It looks like Flo Baragon, for me, would have been the backup, but it looks like he's going to be sold along with Sammy Lukongu um, and potentially Marquinhos going on loan. Other players that are left there are Anelli, who will probably be the third choice defensive midfielder. 
and there are other players like Nuno Tavares and Cesic Soares who I expect to be sold before the transfer window ends. So to confirm Arsenal's predicted starting lineup for the first game of the season is Ramsdale, Timber, Saliba, Gabriel, Shevchenko, Odegaard, Rice, Havards, and then up front, it's Martinelli, Saka, and Gabriel Jesus. That's been my Arsenal predicted starting 11 for his first game of the season. What do you guys think in the comments? Am I got that wrong? Do you think someone else will start? Let us know. Give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, see you soon.